I'm backing up my truck, I'm gonna hook it up, loading up my boat with all my gear. I've been working hard all week, trying to make ends meet, spending time wishing I was fishing. Well, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. Gather up your gear and come along. Well, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. This is Terry Wickstrom. Join Karen Collum, Greg Collagio, and me as we take you to some of our favorite fishing spots from Colorado to Minnesota, the Arctic Circle to Central America and beyond. As we revisit episodes of Mountain States Fishing and Angling Adventures Television on the best of fishing with Terry Wickstrom. Your adventure to Baker's Narrows Lodge begins as you head northwest from Winnipeg, Manitoba towards the Manitoba-Saskatchewan border. Your flight will take you over miles of forest, rock, and an abundance of lakes to the edge of the Canadian Shield area at Flin Flon, Manitoba. At the airport, you will be greeted by our friendly staff, who will assist you with your luggage and drive you the short drive to Baker's Narrows Lodge. Upon arriving at Baker's Narrows Lodge, we ask you to check in at our office, situated just down the lane. Here, you will be greeted and assigned your cabin, where you will spend your stay with us. A brief orientation will take place here by one of our friendly staff, and all questions pertaining to your account status, flyouts, and special needs will be answered. Now, it's time to get settled. We have developed our cabins with your comfort and safety in mind. Each cabin accommodates four very comfortably, with showers, toilets, and sink making up the bathroom. Satellite television, microwaves, coffee makers, alarm clocks, barbecues, fridges, and kitchenettes to fill almost every need. Each cabin is two bedrooms with a pull-out height of it where required. All cabins have their own private deck and fire pits to accommodate those relaxing evenings sitting by the fire. Hey, if this guy looks familiar, it's because you saw him on another show when we were catching Monster Pike. Brock, great to fish with you again. Hey, it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. We're back in Flin Flon, Manitoba at Lake Athapapascal at Baker's Narrows Lodge. And this is Brock. His family Hello. runs the lodge. Uh, your mom, your dad, you, your wives, and you treated us so well. We had such a great time catching Monster fish Pike. On. Oh, we're, we haven't even got the show started and he's already catching fish. Sorry, Terry. Well, you get, let's get it in. I tell you what, we were going to, we were, I was going to tell you is that we had such a great time pike fishing up here. Brock said, you got to come up and feature the lake trout because our lake trout fishing is every bit as good as our trophy pike fishing. So we're back at Baker's Narrows Lodge to do some uh, lake trout fishing here and Flin Flon on Athapathis, Athapathiscow. Athapathiscow. And uh, we're not going to do any flyouts. Last time we did some flyouts, we're going to do some trolling. We're going to do some jigging. We may do a lot of casting. We're not sure how we're going to fish for them. Um, there's lots of species in this lake. In addition to lake trout and pike, there's walleyes, there's burbot, there's uh, 
and it's up. It's a pike. It's I a told pike. you we're here to do a lake trout show. Oh, we I'm did sorry. the pike last time. <laughs> So he caught us a pike. So we'll get that out of the net in a minute. And I'm going to tell the people because we're here to catch lake trout this I'm time. I'm sorry. I'm a slow learner. All right. Both the main lake and the flyout lakes are full of fish. There's walleye fishing where there's, you can get just numbers of fish. There's, we saw us last time. We caught giant pike and walleyes in the mid-20s. And we caught a lake trout or two, but we really didn't feature them. And uh, there's other fish in the lake. We're going to fish just the main lake. In addition to the pike and lake trout, we've got... Uh, the whitefish you've got here, mm -hmm. there's burbot here, you've got a perch population, there's walleyes of course, did I leave anything out? I think that's book covered it. I tell you what, we're going to show you what it's like to come back to Baker's Narrows, we're going to show you the facilities because the facilities, the cabins, the food is great, we're going to get this pike back in the water and go fish for some lake trout at Baker's Narrows Lodge in Manitoba. Yeah, we told them they went through our spot and didn't catch any, so we're going to go back and get them because they weren't able to, and that, that, that made them mad, and right away Brock hooked one up. Can't tell how big it is from here yet, if it's any size or not. Brock's hooked All up. All right, he's playing them. Oh, I think he's got us a white fish. Is that what he's got, a white fish? Big white fish. Big white fish, Brock? Over 22 inches? Hey, you get at those white fish. How big do they have to be before you can keep them? Uh, 22 inches is masters. Oh, it's masters. Yeah, Are you they keep... any good to eat? Um, uh, they're really good smoked. Yeah, if you yeah. smoke them, they're really good. You uh, have a lot of people go out just to catch white fish, just to smoke them. Huh. Well, shall we keep going? Yeah. We keep trying to... Right on, we got another one here. Came around a different island and all of a sudden picked one up. My pole being pretty good here, let's see what it is. It's cut it pretty good. It feels nice. And there it is right there. Another lake trout. Yeah, you betcha. Awesome. All right, there by the boat. Oh! Just lip hook. Don't want to hurt them. Yeah. Just lip, lip hook on the side. Look at that, Karen. Oh, another one. Oh. That's great. These fall lake trout are so much fun. They, uh, they get in here, they've got lots of scrap to them because the water's cold. This one here is a little smaller than a couple other ones we've caught, but uh, they're just going. And they, when they take that hook, they just bite it really well. Nice fish. Here he comes. All right. Here he comes. We've been looking around. We want to do some jigging. We've been trolling. Oh, it's bigger than we thought. Well, that is a nice fish. It's bigger than we thought. John, we've All been right. trolling, looking for fish. Good, good. Let's football. get the camera, is get that, a shot of that fish right oh, in the is water. That ever if we pretty. Can. Isn't that something? Yeah, beautiful fish. All right, let's see if we can get the lure out of them. So we've been we wanted to do some jigging for the lake trout, but they weren't where we thought they'd be, so we've been trolling to there look for them and trying to pick up some shore lunch. Got the hook out. And uh, We've started to pick up a few decent fish, and we think now we may go and, and work the area where we caught these and see if we can pick up a few more. And There's a fish, beautiful. nice fish, John. Beautiful. Look at beautiful. the colors on that, isn't that beautiful? The stripes on that are almost like a brook trout. Good job, yeah. sir. Pretty fish, oh. pretty fish. Don't you just hate doing this? Oh, just. Hate so, it. Hate here, it. Get to do this every day. And Baker's Narrow, just outside of Flin Flon. On, say the name of the lake. At the Kapuska Lake. See, he says it different than anybody else <laughs> I hear say it. So we'll get this fish. I want to get this one back in the water. We can't keep it. It's too big. Over 26 inches. It's got to be released. Yeah, exactly. If you were 25 inches, you'd be short lunch. But today, <laughs> you get to be here for another fisherman. So we'll get it revived. Get him revived. And we'll get it back in the water. There he All goes. Right. Good show. Awesome. All right. 
I love to see a yeah. fish like that yeah. swim away. Nice we broke the ice and got it going. You know, we were getting a little bit of gut because the camera boat had caught some fish and we hadn't. Yeah. We haven't been set up. Uh, the camera wasn't even ready when we caught that fish. We were a little ways apart. We hadn't been set up and weather's warming up. We can start taking some layers off here pretty soon. But uh, it's just the beginning of the day. We got today and a couple more days to go get these beautiful lake trout up here. Let's Baker's go. Narrows Resort, Flin Flon, Can Manitoba. Let's go get some more. Okay. Well, Brock, this is my second trip up here. Last time we kind of targeted the big pike. We did. And we did well. We had a lot of fun on the, those days, didn't we? Oh, we did. You know, we don't do too many shows at the same lodge because we like to show you different aspects of fishing in different parts of the world. But uh, Brock called and said, you know, we did the pike. You've got to come back and target the lake trout because it's awesome. And of course, it didn't take much convincing when you find out that, and I'm going to say the name of the lake wrong, Athapathiscow? Athapathiscow. Athapathiscow is at the PAP, they call it here locally, and Baker's Narrows Lodge in Flin Flon. This lake has produced two world record over 60 pound lake trout, is that right? Uh, the one uh, record is a 63 pound lake trout. Yeah. And the other record is a, uh, a world record eel poke. Wow. And so, uh, and he said we're catching numbers of lake trout. Uh, how many fish in a day sometimes? Uh, our lodge record is 167 lake trout in one day. Jeez, 167 in one day. Now, we don't expect to catch a 60 pound lake trout or to catch even 160 in a day, but when he told me what the lake trout fishing can really be like, because we didn't get a chance to experience it much the last time we were up, we really concentrated on the pike and the walleyes. And so we came back up and we're, uh, we got a few fish and we're going to get a few more. We're hoping to get that big, ar big arm hugger, but at least to get. Uh, at least to get enough representative lake trout to show you what it can be like. The fishing can be phenomenal, so we're going to try to show you some of that and reacquaint you with the folks at Baker's Narrow. And you know, another reason, Brock, that we came back up here was that um, we just enjoyed working with you and your family so much. Your family runs the lodge, Baker's Narrows. It's your mom and dad and you and your brother, is that right? That's right. And of course, your wives help out and things, and everybody's, the whole family's involved. The whole family's involved, and the kids are in training. So there you go, you know, and, and you treat people like that. You make people feel like they're visiting a family. It's just a unique setup and it's a, it's a great place to come. It's accessible. We flew in here to Flin Flon and you're about a five minute drive from the lodge or you can drive up. That's right. You can uh, fly up or drive up either way. And uh, once you get here, you can fly out to different lakes or you can fish the main lake right at the lodge. And I think we'll be concentrating on the main lake this trip. We did some flyouts last time and uh, try to see if we can show you some of the Athapap lake trout. All right, Karen, the camera person. I'm supposed to be lake trout fishing. I'm catching all kinds of gup. And Karen, with the lure that I put on her rod, she got a lake trout, Karen? Yeah. You betcha. Just sure, bet. it figures. You know, I, I'm getting tired of you. Careful with those trebles. That was on a new X wrap we just got from George Large out of Normark. <laughs> That's uh, all right that. Uh, you want me to take. There you go. Take a quick peek at your fish and. I'm going to get back to fishing. Tell you what. Our producer, Karen Collum, with another lake trout. She's kind of getting disgusting at this. <laughs> Way to go, Karen. Good job. a girl. Oh, well, we got one of the guests that we met at breakfast. They seem to have a pretty good fish on. Oh, look at that rod bent over. This is something. Oh, he's having a good fight. Oh, this is awesome. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, all right. Ah, good fish. Go. Good fish. All right. Well, that's pretty neat. You know, really, that's just an average fish for here, isn't it? That is, yeah. That's what you can expect to catch. Look at the colors, how pretty it is, though. You betcha. There we go. Yeah, that's a nice, just a nice, good fighter. He wants to get a picture first. Let, oh, we'll get it. All right. Way to go. Nice one, Sandy. Good job. All right, way to go. You guys are doing okay. You can put them back in. I'll tell you what, oh, I'll tell you what, just, you know. Goodbye, and there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I just show you all, uh, all types. Six in the boat. Six in the boat? All right, way to go. You haven't been out that long this morning yet either. No. Well, we're going to be right behind you cleaning up your crumbs. All right, go get some more, guys.
Hey Brock, you know, one of the things I want to talk to people, they see us, we're a little bundled up right now. We're up here in the fall, it's the well, end of September, and I've got a fish on. Right on. There's something, I'm pulling something, I don't know what it is, I don't dare give it enough slack after all the fish we lost yeah. to find out. But it doesn't feel really like a fish, but it every now and then it does. There we go. It's a nice fish. Nice fish, yeah. Oh. You bet. He was hooked funny, hook is out. I thought it was on the bottom because the way he hooked turned out to be a really nice lake trout. Got it? Nice lake trout. That's the bottom of the lake. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. He hit at it, took it, and it caught him right under here and he was able to turn his head. And it just took and just burned line. I thought I was snagged up. And then he shut the motor off. I started reeling and all of a sudden it would go and go and just kept pressure on it because we lost so many fish today. We've had a number that we've had the hooks come out of yeah, today. We, we and I was gun spit. shy. So I thought, well, I'm just going to keep pressure on it. And I pro so I kept so much pressure on it, I couldn't really be sure because of the way it was turned. It turned out just to be another nice Athapathiscal lake trout. You bet. Here in Flin Flon, Manitoba. I'll tell you what, it's just, the fishery is just so incredible. You come up here and just have the time of your life with these guys. Brock and his family will take care of you. And the facilities are great, the cabins are great, the food is great, and it's, one of, it's just a world-class fishery. It's time now for Terry's Tackle Tip of the Week. Well, you know, before we were interrupted with that fish, I couldn't get my, what I wanted to say in. <laughs> I was telling the folks, we're kind of bundled up here. We're up here, it's the end of September. One of the things about fall fishing in Can northern Canada, northern Manitoba like this, is that you could have a t-shirt day. In fact, the day, a couple days before I got here, it was 70 degrees, you guys are out with t-shirts. We're fishing in t-shirts. And it's been pleasant while we're here. It's been, we had one day it rained a little bit. We're here a couple days. But it's really been pretty nice. But bring some layers. I've got my Gore-Tex rain suit, and under here I've got a hooded jacket that's lined. And I've been more than comfortable. Put my rain suit on in case when we go across the waves and get splashed on. Keeps me comfortable. But you could get a snowstorm yes, you this can. time of the year. I mean, you want to check before you come up. Most of the time, fall, as you look around, you've seen the scenery. This is one of the most beautiful places in the world in fall. The trees are turning colors. You get the sunsets. We had northern lights last night. We're looking out our cabin. It was just awesome. But check with the guys up here at Baker's Narrow and bring some layers of clothing no matter what because you could run into different types of uh, just different types of weather and but you can still fish in it and catch fish and have a good time and be comfortable so bring some layers with it's just a good uh, good bit of advice that was terry's tackle tip for this week and now back to more angling adventures all right hooked up again right on this is a good spot out where that monster came from that broke the record i keep i like fishing here because even when i get a little one i'm always thinking a 63 pounder came out of here. Yeah, you never know what you can get, eh? Oh, I'll tell you what, you guys have got some monster fish. You were telling me that even though these we're catching are just representative fish, that you catch several over 40 inches every year at the lodge. You betcha. We, uh, we, oh, that's a nice one, Terry. Oh, it's a nice lake trout. Oh, great. Nice lake trout. Come on, baby. Yeah, oh. yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Terry, you've got a beautiful fish there. Oh, what a pretty fish. You betcha. There we go, folks. I'll tell you what, you didn't get to see us actually net it probably because we were right into the sun with the, got to be a Chinese fire drill, but beautiful, beautiful lake trout. Like at the Papascal, did I say it right? At the Papascal. At the Papascal. Baker's Narrows, Flin Flon, Manitoba, lake trout, oh, baby. That's a beauty. I'm that gonna get is. this one back in the water. It's gonna be up here for you to catch when you come back. Oh, there, oh, there he goes, healthy. I'll tell you what, you got, I got a heck of a fishery up here. <laughs> you know what? That's awesome. Before we end the show today too, I wanna tell people that uh, everybody that was up here with us caught lake trout. They we did, were fishing they? with guides and guests and everybody caught lake trout, but what was really amazing we caught, what, five or six different species of fish on this trip. Yeah, we did. I mean, you caught a, a whitefish that was a master angler. Master angler whitefish. Our producer, Karen, caught several whitefish, and you got some others. Yeah. I caught a perch. Yeah, you got that perch, Jacob. We got some great pike. I got a nice pike this trip, too, that you probably won't get to see on film, 30-some inches, just fat, a big pike. 
Uh, we didn't get a walleye, but we got a burbot. We got a burbot. We were jigging for lake trout, and uh, they were down there, and the burbot snuck in and got a hold of us instead. I'll tell you what, everybody got the lake trout. And that trout I just released was just a representative fish. I'll tell you what, every year at this lodge, we were talking before, that was a nice, solid lake trout. Yeah. You can expect to catch a fish like that here. Yeah, that's, that's about the norm right there. All right, but the great thing is every time you get a bite and it pulls that hard, you never know, because tell me, what are some of the bigger fish we're caught just this year? This year we've got uh, a couple in the 45 inch range, some 44s, 43s. Uh, you know, we've had some good fish in the 40 inch range. And that's every year, that's typical. That is. So when you come up here, not only are there giant pike, but giant lake trout. Remember, this has the genetics that produced a world record. And a 40 inch lake trout, they're talking fish are getting in the 30 pound range. And at any time you get bit, it could be that 17 incher like you saw me catch earlier, could be a nice solid fish like that, or it could be a 30, 40 pound fish. It's just, it's just a tremendous, tremendous angling adventure. I tell you what, the day's coming to an end. We got to get out of here. Let's take you to a message from the family that runs Baker's Narrows Lodge and Flint Flan. Let them say goodbye to you. On behalf of the Baton family, I would like to invite you to join us at Baker's Narrows Lodge, situated in the Canadian Shield of Northern Manitoba. We not only offer world-class lake trout, northern and walleye fishing, but we pride ourselves in our service and in our accommodation as well. Our family is dedicated to exceed your expectations. Let's, Let's go, go fishing! fishing!